to part 7 of our Adobe Premiere Pro action series tutorials. Alright, and today I'm going to be showing you how to finish up your project in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, now we have this awesome, you know, trailer type thing, um, but it's still missing something, and that is music. Alright, so go ahead and just choose your favorite music. Um, again, mine is from uh, Andrew Kramer's Pro Scores. And just go ahead and drag that in, just like that. You can open that up. Alright, and I'm going to be looking for some uh, audio waves. That's how I pretty much read those to tell where the music starts and all. Okay, so I'm going to want some big dramatic stuff. Alright, that looks pretty good right there. Alright, just go ahead and clip that up. Just see how this sounds. Okay, and like, we can just go ahead and turn up, turn down the actual music until it adjusts right. Okay, we'll just extend this a little bit longer. Okay, that looks pretty good. Alright, and right there, that's when we'll cut it. Okay, so go ahead and grab your cut tool. Alright, we'll just delete that. And we'll have this fade out. So just go ahead and add your markers there. Holding down control. Alright, and there we go, we've added some music. Alright, and now it's time to render. Alright, so now what we're going to do, is we're going to make sure these points are over our all our video. This uh, gray thing right here. Alright, now let's go up to File. You always want to make sure you're saving your stuff, just in case it uh, collapses. So, click Save. Alright, now go to File, Export, Media. Alright, and you'll have all these options. Okay, so first off, what I usually do, uh, MPEG format, MPEG 2 actually. So go, to, go down here, and you'll choose the actual format. Alright, you can have the choice to choose your own preset, um, but again, you can customize it, and then all you have to do is just click this button right here, and you can save it and name it, and it will appear on the top. And so, next thing I do is output name, alright, and I just find where I would like to put it. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and name it final. Alright, 1920 by 1080. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that down. Uh, 10, uh, 1280 is actually still HD. And it actually takes not a long time to render. Okay, just like that. That'll turn to 720 as long as you have this locked. Alright, quality 5. Uh, frame rate to get a nice film look. It's 24 FPS. Alright, and pull down 0. Field order. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, you want your pixel aspect ratio widescreen, 16 over 9. Alright, profile main, and that's basically it. Okay, and all you have to do is just click OK. It'll bring up this funky little thing, and all you have to do is hit Start Queue. What's neat about this um, Adobe Media Encoder is that you can go ahead and mess around in Adobe Premiere Pro, because uh, this is external from the actual program, so that's pretty neat. And all you have to do is hit Start Queue, and it'll render out. So, I hope you enjoyed these tutorials. Um, I'm definitely going to check into rendering methods and try to find a simpler, smaller type now that I'm getting into contests. And they always have a limit and all, so, yeah. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial again. And so, definitely go check out our channel and everything we've pretty much done with it, and along with our other tutorials. So, yeah. Alright, thanks. See you all later.